I believe that many people make this much more difficult than what it truly is. God has placed us on this earth. Satan places distractions for us on this earth to distract us from doing what God wants us to do. God wants us to follow his rules and regulations. Satan wants us to turn our back on God. How does he do this? He can make you busy with your job. Make you busy making money. Make you busy in trying to find a wife, husband, or whatever else. Make you busy in trying to reach a goal. So it makes you more focused on doing what you want to do other than doing what you have been created to do. Distractions. Everything that you do on this earth is not going to last unless you are doing something that pertains to God. Think about the hurricanes. Think about people who lost their homes. They placed so much time and effort into their homes, jobs, whatever else, and they lost everything. What is that telling you? Stop wasting your time in earthly matters, per se. If it doesn't have anything to do with God, leave it alone. Leave it alone. I don't know if this is making any sense to you. So much more chaos is going to happen to this world. So much more. Earthquakes, hurricanes, more fires. How much more has to happen to wake you all up or to wake up the people who choose to not realize what is going on. Vanity. It is just a waste of time if you are not doing things of God. Why would you work all your life to get things that you want, then die, then lose everything. <laughs> Why would you build a home 99% of the way, then begin to tear it down? It makes no sense. Why build a Santa castle for 12 hours or more then watch the tide come in and destroy what you made. What is the point? This is more simple than what you think. Do what God wants you to do and place everything else secondary. Placing God all the way in the back that is just going to make your life worse. God wants us to be a certain way on this earth. Just do it. Give up your goals. Give up your ambitions. 
think about things that pertain to God first. Think about working for God first. Think about giving God your time first. Or do you have to lose your home, your job, your money, and all that stuff there first before you realize, hey, let me come to God? Do you have to lose everything before you come back to God? Because that is what is going to happen. You are going to lose everything. But why go through those hardships when you don't have to? Why? My Lord. So I pray that this makes sense. Just do what God wants you to do. You are able, but you are not willing to sacrifice. Why gamble with your soul? You only have one soul. That's it. You don't have any more souls than just that one. What happened in Houston, worse is going to happen in other areas. So be ready. Be ready. Like I said, Place your mind, focus, in your life upon things of God. Repent of your sins now while you still have the chance because tomorrow is not promised for anyone, not even for me. I continue to repent even when I believe I have done nothing wrong. I don't care. I am going to repent anyway. Why not? So I pray that this makes sense. Repent and change your focus. God bless.